There's a number of different brands of blood glucose monitors that you can use. I would suggest you sit down with your diabetes educator, your physician, or your healthcare provider to discuss with them the pros and cons of the different ones available to you. One of the things many people find is that they have to, number one, check with their insurance to see what kind of meter your insurance will cover. If money is not an object, pick whichever one you want. The average glucose monitor is about the size of a cell phone, so they're not, they're not very big. By the same token, the same way cell phones have many different features, so do the glucose monitors. If you have problems with your vision, you might want to pick one that has very, a, a little bit larger numbers on it so you can see the display better. If you have problems getting blood out of your fingertips, you might want to pick one that takes a lot less blood. If you have dexterity problems, arthritis problems, anything with fine motor skills, you might want to pick one that has a larger strip. Some of the strips are very, very tiny. Some of the very tiny meters are hard for older men or men with large fingers to use. If you have a child who needs to use one, you might want to look for one that's a little more durable, especially if they're going to be taking it with them to school and sports and different activities and things like that. So go to either your healthcare provider or even some of the um, local pharmacies will have a display of the different ones. Take a look at all the different ones. You might want to look at the cost of the strips because most of the time you can get the meter for free. It's the strips that's going to cost you money. And there are different um, uh, costs factors with some of the strips. Not a lot. They're, it's basically within the same range. Another thing you might want to think about and talk to your doctor about is the accuracy of the meter. It does no good to be checking your blood sugars if they're inaccurate numbers. So work, work something out with your doctor that next time you go in, take your meter along with you. When they draw blood or check your blood on their machine, make sure you take your little portable glucose meter with you so you can check your blood sugar also so you can make sure there's some correlation there to make sure that the numbers you're getting are ac as accurate as possible so you can make good decisions on what to do with your medications.